It's been raining here for three months, straight almost. It's kind of unusual for out west, and the unusual weather brought about a kind of unusual discovery in my backyard. I found an almost perfect skeleton leaf, and it was such an exciting discovery for me that of course I brought it inside. I've seen these in crafts, so I knew what it was, but I've never actually found one of these before, and I kind of puzzled over its origin for a bit before I realized it was a citrus leaf. It's been raining so much that water has been kind of ponding up all over the place, and not really drying out like it normally does. I think what happened is that one of the leaves from my orange tree fell into a puddle of water, and since the puddle never dried out, the leaf soaked there for several weeks. The green tissue broke down, leaving behind only the veins. Another storm by happen chance blew the leaf out of the puddle and right to my feet. I thought it was really cool, so I decided to try to make some more for mixed media projects or crafts. And it turns out it's not really difficult. There are two methods. The first method is to just soak the leaves in water for several weeks, changing the water periodically so it doesn't get too gross. This is what I think happened to my leaf naturally. For those of us who lack patience, there's method two. For this method, you boil the leaves in a mixture of water and washing soda. About one quart of water for every three quarters of a cup of washing soda. It doesn't have to be exact. You can find washing soda in the laundry detergent aisle, and although it sounds similar, it is not the same thing as baking soda, and baking soda will not work. Washing soda is safe for your pots and pans, and as an added bonus, it might even make them a little cleaner. I simmer the leaves over low heat. Depending on what kind of leaves you use, it might take up to three hours to break down the plant tissue. Make sure to stick close by and keep an eye on the water so that it doesn't boil over or boil away. When it's done, it kind of looks like cooked spinach, and when you remove it from the water, the green tissue should slide off pretty easy. It's a little like parboiling tomatoes or peaches. If it doesn't slide off easy, you probably need to soak or boil it some more. You want to be really gentle as you are removing the tissue. These are so delicate and it's very easy to tear them. After this step, they are kind of a golden green color. Eventually, they will fade to a pale yellowy brown. It's kind of counterintuitive, but chlorophyll is actually not a very light fast pigment. But if you want to speed things along, you can soak them in a little bleach to brighten them up, and then lay them flat to dry. I think they turned out really cool. I love how lacy and delicate they are. And they are so pretty when the sun shines through them. You can experiment with all different kinds of leaves. I haven't decided yet what I want to do with these, but I think it would be fun to maybe layer them in paintings with clear gel, or maybe embed them in resin. Anyway, that's how I made these skeleton leaves. I hope you enjoyed this video or maybe got some inspiration. As always, thank you so much for watching. Bye!